Hello, folks. I'm Milton Crabapple. You know, a while back I was watching the Dr. Phil show on TV. He had this couple on there, and their problem was the woman was always complaining about everything. The man said she complained and whined and moaned about everything. Nothing was ever right. Nothing was ever good enough. Nothing came up to her standards. He said when they go out to eat, she just gave waiters hell. He said she was always sending her food back and complaining about stuff and trying to get something for nothing. Dr. Phil leaned in close to her like this. He said, lady, let me tell you something. And you listen to me real close. He said, I used to be in the restaurant business. I used to work in the restaurant. Lots of my good friends are still in the restaurant business. And he said, trust me. He said, if you've ever sent perfectly good food back to the kitchen in a restaurant on the counter, you just didn't like something about it? He said, you have eaten snot. Yes, sir, that's what he said. He said it's kind of an unwritten rule in the restaurant business. He said he wouldn't dare ever eat any food that come from the back of a restaurant after it had been sent back somebody. He said, because it's got snot in it. Now, ain't that something? I don't know if it's true or not, but you know what? Made an impression on me. So I coined a new term for folks that are always complaining and whining and moaning and picking about stuff and nothing's ever good enough and they always trying to get something for nothing and always trying to weasel out of stuff. I call them snot eaters. Yes, sir, I know a couple of them and I know you do too. That's the way I see it. I'm Milton Crabapple.